Hello there Capricorns, welcome to your tarot reading. So uh, before I begin, let me just say that you guys have a bunch of cards that flipped out and a bunch of messages that are uh, still trying to come out. And I almost feel like you're getting like five images um, coming through in this reading and each image corresponds to each one of these um, pairs of cards. So uh, I'm gonna go from left to right and just try to form a coherent story, okay? I just wanna say, first of all, this is gonna be a really good month, okay? It requires you to be a little bit more like uh, nimble on your feet. You are in a position where you're going to have to um, kind of like change direction, change strategies, um, change the method of doing multiple times so you're going to need to be very nimble on your toes you're going to need to anticipate uh, roadblocks and problems before they become you know um, detrimental so that you can change your strategy and i feel like it's a month where there's a lot of dealings with other people and you know um with a lot of capricorns in general if you were in a cubicle doing your own thing um you're very happy okay you don't need like inputs and crowdsourcing and things like that from other people but i feel like this is a month where you're doing a lot of damage control where a lot of uh, unexpected twists and turns um will come in especially in the work environment wherever you're spending the majority of your time and i feel like it's in the work environment and then I'm also sensing like a lot of um, last minute changes and a lot of just um, things that you have to take care of um, at a moment's notice, okay? Um, keep in mind as well that throughout the month of November is the entire month is um, we're in the Mercury retrograde transit uh, time frame. So if for those of you who are dealing with a lot of uh, software a lot of technology, a lot of uh, communication with other people. These these are the the where the areas where these problems will kind of creep up, because Mercury does rule communication and mental processes and workflow and efficiencies in 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 a way. And so, old ways, old methods, outdated methods of doing have to kind of like be be broken down so that we can find a better way to do things a better way will emerge okay so first of all what i'm seeing here the first image is um i'm seeing a bunch of children uh there's an apple tree with a lot of fruit and there are a bunch of children you know they're they're like young kids six seven years old they're underneath the tree and they're picking all the fruit and they're picking only what their arms can reach, right? Because they're little children and they don't think about, oh, why don't we just harvest the whole um, apple tree? Why don't we step on the ladder? Why don't we just, you know, make sure that we get everything? They're not really thinking like that. Um, so in, in this environment, I feel like low line fruit and I feel like a laziness and I feel like a, a, a situation where there's no plan, there's no strategy, it's just, um, Every man for himself, everybody grabs whatever is easiest, like, you know, the low line fruit, the easy argument, the, the easy way out, the path of least resistance, the minimal amount of effort that yields the greatest amount of reward, okay? So it's a very impulsive, um, self-serving, and just, you know, that, that type of a, a situation, okay? And so that's the first thing that came out. And then the second image that is kind of piggying back off that first image is uh, I see a situation where um, it's like a balcony and it's a very old balcony. It reminds me almost like a, a house that was built a long time ago and there has never been any maintenance, any structural change, any type of reinforcement to this balcony. And they're putting seats out on the balcony so that people can uh, wine and dine and have like balcony seating. And so they keep, people keep running out, keep coming in, and there's like cracks along the, the foundation of this balcony. And it goes unaddressed, it goes um, unchecked, it goes unrepaired. And then I feel like over time, it's just gonna get worse and worse. So the wear and tear on a situation that is not structurally sound, I feel like that's um, creating problems. So those two issues, um, I feel like they represent especially the first four cards here and I feel that the the energy is about 
it, it's like I see some of you in a situation here where it's structurally and foundationally something is not working. Okay, uh, for some of you, this can be like a household situation where many of you feel like you're telling somebody, "Hey, you should do this. You should do that," but they're not really listening to you because they're programmed a certain way. And their programming doesn't require um, them to update. It doesn't require them to, you know, um, like take a time out and, and try to um, get their hardware or their software to the latest technology. And so I feel like they're outdated, their method of doing, their met method of thinking. And they're losing out when it comes to efficiency, when it comes to doing things the proper way, doing things a more efficient way, being on the up and up and, you know, uh, using like the latest type of technology. They're outdated. They're being rendered obsolete and they're not really aware of that. So I feel like there's a situation here where um, it's like innovate or get um, trampled out. You know, so I, I feel like there's a, a, a huge thing here about technological advances that are not properly being utilized because the people are resistant to it. And I also feel like there's a better way to do something, but people are so stuck in their past, in, in, in the things that they have always done, in the tried and true, and they're lacking in the ability to innovate. So the first thing I'm seeing here is the Six of Cups, okay? And um, this is a non-traditional deck, by the way, and I'm using it for the first time. I hope it works out, but it so far has been giving me a lot of messages, so I like it so far. So the Six of Cups is about uh, nostalgia. It's about, you know, walking down memory lane, doing something, yearning for something from the past and not wanting to change. And we also have the Four of Wands. This is the structure, the foundation. And the Four of Wands denotes pretty much uh, a situation like something that is very very stable it can be very slow to change it can be very very rigid and it has withstood the, the the test of time and so it doesn't feel like it needs to change it doesn't feel like it needs to evolve it doesn't feel like it needs to get with the, the times okay so I'm seeing here a situation where uh, people are mired in or deeply ingrained in the past and they're not willing to innovate. They're not willing to to step out of their comfort zone. They're not willing to try new things. Even though the reality is telling them that, you know, your, your old way is not really working. You need to be a little bit more innovative. You need to be a little bit more like... Um, you need to think about the greater good. You need to think about, you know, uh, getting all those apples from the tree because what will inevitably happen is the bottom of the tree where everyone has picked the fruit is barren. And then the fruits that are on top, they're just going to rot. They're just going to fall off and no one gets to enjoy the fruit of that labor. Okay, so I feel like there's a situation here where there's so much room for innovation, for success. Uh, there's so much dynamism that can happen out of the situation, but there's a lot of resistance from other people because whatever you're trying to introduce, whatever you're trying to bring into the fold, that will guarantee a lot of success. We have the sun here. This is like innovation. This is like, you know, that, that light bulb, okay? Like having a very ingenious idea being recognized for ingenuity, being recognized for originality, being recognized for some type of a new way of doing, to streamline processes, to um, adapt, and to be innovative. And yet, people are so stuck in the past that they're not able to accept this groundbreaking thing that you're trying to bring into the picture. So I feel like you have a lot of convincing to do when it comes to dealing with other people, showing them a better way to do things, showing them a healthier, a more less self-serving way to do things. But I feel like not everybody's going to be on board. So I feel like there is a little bit of a tug of war here. Okay. Um, like not giving slack, not giving leeway. These uh, ropes, these banners are stretched pretty, pretty tight and they're stretched because they want to maintain the status quo. And so, interestingly enough, we have the devil, in which is traditionally the card of Capricorn. In this depiction, what it indicates to me is you're on top of the tree, you're looking down at the situation, and you're like, the people underneath, the little kids picking off the low-lying fruits, it's a little bit selfish. 
Okay, so I feel like you're trying to, um, you're you're trying to find a way to incentivize people to to behave in a better manner, to do things in a better manner, and you're just trying to figure out like what is their incentive, what can I use to motivate them, what is their main driver, and what can I do or what can I, you know. Say to persuade them into this better way of doing, this better way of thinking, this better way of living, and so I feel like you know the majority of the month, your what's on your mind or the the big problem that you're trying to solve is <coughs> finding the right incent incentive structure, finding the right way to introduce this really groundbreaking、uh, situation into the picture. Trying to get everybody on board and trying to get people to see outside of themselves, have a better like、um, bird's eye view of a situation. Because once they start to see the whole situation and the larger picture, they might be inclined to do things differently. So I feel like you've got a, a challenge ahead of you, but I feel many of you, this is going to be a really,、um, it's like a task that you are are really eagerly. Uh, wanting to take on because you know that you can succeed in changing minds. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here. So I guess the third image that I saw was、um, I see this and I I've seen this something similar on like Instagram, but this is a little bit different. So I see this table. Okay, somebody spins it and it turns into、um, so it's a round table. Somebody spins it, and then the the pieces like kind of realign, and it forms like a flat surface. So it becomes like it, it starts from a round table, and then it becomes a rectangular table, and then somebody lowers the base, and then it becomes like a futon, and then somebody raises it, and it becomes kind of like a, a bunk bed. Okay, so what I'm seeing is innovation once more, but also something that is multi-purpose, multi-use. Uh, space saving,、um, something very innovative, something that is very like it's like a transformer. It、uh, takes on many shapes. It can take in,、uh, on many forms. It's it has multi functions, and it's something that is really groundbreaking. And、um, through this, what I am seeing is, I feel like this multi purpose, this this、uh, multi functionality. Object or thing is something that you are actively working on. You're trying to create a bundle. You're trying to consolidate situations or things into one single thing. So I'm seeing like instead of you know going out to buy a、uh, a chair, going out to buy a bunk bed, going out to buy a table, a round table for the living room, and then a rectangular table for the kitchen. And a futon for the living room. You're trying to get everything and consolidate it into one multi-purpose, multi-use object. Okay. For some of you, this can play out in 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 the work environment where you have something that a lot of people use on a daily basis, and they have to go here to get to that round table, and they have to go here to find that futon. They have to come here to get the bunk bed, and you know that's an analogy, of course. But it's it's almost like there's a lot of time, energy, and just effort wasted in trying to go to all these. Separate locations in order to get that thing that we want. You're trying to create a situation where you can consolidate and have everything in one centrally located area, so that everyone that needs something they can go there and have all their needs met. Okay. We're talking really mind blowing inventions here, Capricorns. We're talking you kind of like on the verge of creating something. Or developing something that is going to be extremely、um, time-saving, labor-saving, and just you know all the way around, it's going to be one of the best ideas of the decade. So I feel like you're you're on the verge of creating this. It's going to be happening very very soon, and I feel like you're tinkering with it, you're messing around with it, you're looking at prototypes, you're shopping around, you're crowdsourcing in a way. You're trying to ask people. How do you use this? How do you use that? 
and you know what is important to you when it comes to you know what what is considered user friendly. So I feel like you're taking tallies, you're taking notes, you're taking other people's、uh, like it's like users' feedback into account. So that's what I'm sensing. Okay. Many of you are in a, a a situation where people are very very resistant to change. So in a way, you guys are kind of like the breath of fresh air blowing into this situation, and you know, like the the way your mind works, it's so fast and it's so innovative, and it's so calculated and certain that a lot of people are very intimidated. Okay, a lot of people are just kind of like. Um, afraid of your ideas, afraid of your plans,、um, mainly because it's so unconventional, and that's weird for you know a Capricorn reading. But I feel like no matter what, you guys have something nailed down, and you're just like, if I bring this forth into the world, it's gonna drastically、um, enhance the way we do things. So you're on the the verge of some major technological or even. Just、um, creating some type of a prototype that will forever change the way that we work, or the way that your the environment, or the way that your 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 work situation, your family dynamics,、um, the way that people operate. Okay, so I feel like it's um uh it's extremely uh, space saving, uh, energy saving, labor saving, time saving. So you're 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 on the Uh, you're on the 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 verge of creating something very very innovative and、um, just it's going to be amazing. And so, I just want to say that you're going to face some opposition, okay, from from naysayers, from people who are not on board because they're just you know mired in the low line fruit. Okay, they're they're mired in the the path of least resistance. They're mired in, I I honestly feel like laziness. You know, they they've been doing this for a really long time. They take the easiest way out, and they see what's really,、um, you know, like a foot in front of them, and they don't really want to exert the effort to do more. But I feel like whatever you're doing.、Um, It requires them to do more. It requires people to truly develop to their full capabilities, and people are really afraid of that. They want to coast by. They they want a, an easy environment. They want something that they can do,、um, and then when they get home, they can just tune it out. They don't want to think and and plan and you know put in the effort. So I feel like you're facing a lot of resistance, but、um, it comes in from you know people's inability to adapt. People's fear of technology, people's fear of newness, and especially people's fear that their old way of life, which they have used as a、um, a crutch, which they have used as a safety net, it's like that that safety net is being ripped out from under them, and it can cause like、um, a lot of defensiveness from their end, as well as.、Um, Defensiveness that can turn into, you know, anger. Okay, trying to shut you down, trying to resist, trying to not be on board, or like shoot holes in your theories or in your plans or in in the things that you're trying to innovate because they're afraid of it. Okay, so just know that you are on the right path. There is going to be some tremendous revealing. We have the sun here, which is overall about success. Okay.、Um, This is a great card for people who are entrepreneurs, who are trying to like launch a business, who are trying to launch a career, who are finally like、um, they have something and 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 it it signifies like having made it, getting recognition, getting a lot of people on board, being able to kind of like stand out from the crowd. Okay, so I feel like you're doing something here that is going to be. It's it's a tremendous effort, and I feel like it is so worth it because it's going to change something structurally, like systemic, systemically, or structurally.、Um, it's going to overhaul a very outdated system. Okay, so what I'm seeing as well,、um, and I guess this is we're moving on to the fourth picture. Um, I saw this card, the tower, and、um, I was thinking about like a, a crack in the foundation. Okay, a big, big crack. Okay, so what I saw, the the image that came out when this card was like、uh, getting ready to fall out, was、um, 
I do see two people, so I feel like this might be a relationship type of a situation. And I apologize, my messages and、um, the imagery that comes in tend to be a little bit more on the heterosexual side. But I see a man and a woman, and、uh, they're in, they're they're a couple, okay? They're a couple, and、um, I I see like a muted argument, okay? There's a lot of hand gestures.、Uh, the woman is very very emotional and just very expressive. She she's talking. And the man is listening to her. He's not able to get a word in. He's not able to. He doesn't know what to say. And so, keeping you know, keep, keeping things gender neutral, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who has a lot to say, who has a lot of grievances, who might have a lot on their mind. And I feel like a, a situation where it feels a little bit like verbal diarrhea. Someone has kept something in for a very, very long time. So regardless of what gender you are, that、um, you're watching this. So you could be male, and you could identify with the woman, the one that has so like repressed a lot and has a lot on her mind and has a lot to say. And she's she's just coming at it like everything is pouring out. And then the partner is just like at a loss for words. Like I don't know what to say. I didn't know these were things that、um, were problematic for you. I didn't know that these things were were a problem in our relationship. So I feel like there's a situation here where there is a fracture in the foundation of that relationship.、Um, there are some messages that are coming through here, and I keep getting cracks and fracture, but、um, they're also showing up in the cards. Okay, we have the tower. And we have here the five of cups, and they both have cracks in them. Okay, so there's this little crack in the saucer, teacup, and this big, big, big fracture here in the、uh, tower. What I'm seeing here is,、um, I I feel like there is a a relationship here where.、Um, One person was working behind the scenes, okay, and they worked diligently behind the scenes. They might have been the one to do all the cooking, to do all the cleaning, to take care of all the children, to make sure that the kids uh, get um, go to bed, to make sure the the kid is bathed, to make sure the the teeth are brushed, and、uh, they cook the meal, you know, and and you can you can be. The one that's doing this, or your partner is, but I definitely feel like there's a lot of、um, there's like pent up resentment. Okay, I'm doing all of this, and it's really hard a lot of the times to see outside of ourselves. Okay, and I'm not talking just for you, Capricorn. I mean, like for everybody, we know what we're doing. We always see what we're contributing to a situation. From you know the time we wake up to the time we go to bed, we are very aware of everything that we're doing. But a lot of the times, we might not be aware of what all the effort that the other person is putting in, all the things that they have to do because they're out of our sight, right? And so I feel like there's grievances, there's、um, resentment here between who's doing what. One person feels like they're putting in more work; the other person feels like they're not being appreciated. And I feel like it takes two to tangle. It's almost like you could have a lot of success out in in the world because you might have had a partner that did everything behind the scenes to help you get there. They, you know, did homework with the kids. They put the kids to bed. They cooked for the kids. They cook your meals when you get home. There's like warm food on the table. And on the weekends, when you're doing overtime or when you're, you know, trying to innovate, this person was doing laundry. This person was cleaning the house. This person was vacuuming. This person was doing the dishes, and so on and so forth. So I definitely feel like there's a situation where somebody is feeling unnoticed, unrecognized, unappreciated. Okay, and I feel like it's it's pent up resentment, and、um, I I do sense like it has been. A long time in the making. Okay, this fracture, this strain. It's it's like the the big saucer at the bottom is cracked by the weight that is above it. Okay, so the way in which I'm I'm also seeing that balcony again. It's almost like all the people、uh, putting weight on it. It goes unchecked. It's not maintained. It's not、uh, being repaired. It's taken for granted. Right. 
And I feel like because of that, over time, not only is it a crack to the saucer, it's a crack to the foundation of something very, very pivotal and important in your life, and it can't be fixed. So I feel like for those of you who might be in a situation where you're feeling like you're doing a lot and you're not getting that recognition from a partner, I feel like it's important to have this conversation. And then for others who are kind of like absentmindedly, you know, kind of like working in a laboratory or working at home in your garage or in your study or whatever, you're tinkering with a lot of projects, you're tinkering with a lot of ideas. And I feel like you're not reserving the time and the effort and the energy into your relationships. And it's creating a little bit of an emotional rift between you and another person. And that needs to be changed, okay? I'm also feeling for many of you, there is a, a difficulty juggling responsibilities, okay? This is the home environment, four of wands, the home, um, doing, you know, the, 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 the daily things that you have to do in order to maintain yourself. And then I'm also seeing, <coughs> excuse me, this is the public environment. The sun is about success, worldly success. And they're lying kind of like right on top of each other. So it's like juggling, finding the balance, you know, work life and then, then home life. Don't neglect one or don't um, overly focus on one at the expense of the other. Okay, so I feel like there's a situation here where the delicate balance needs to be reached. We have here the temperance, the pouring of the cups, making sure that both areas are um, thoroughly satiated before you can find that inner balance. Making sure that there's give and receive, making sure that there's a reciprocity, treating something in a very delicate, in a very fragile way because you want to maintain that equilibrium. And so for many of you, there's a situation here where it requires a, a soft touch. It requires delicacy. It requires that you kind of like approach this situation um, in a very delicate and a very balanced manner. Okay. So I feel like it has the potential to be fixed here. But I feel like somebody is kind of like buckling under the pressure. And it's not so much the, uh, the pressure from the external environment, but I feel like it's a situation where there's a lot of, um, I, I just feel like someone feels underappreciated. Someone feels like they're not meaningful in this situation. Somebody feels like almost invisible is what I'm seeing. Somebody feels like they're not um, pivotal to this 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 situation they feel like they're expendable they feel like they don't matter and i feel like you're very very intuitive um capricorns you might know who this person is in your life you might know that they've had a, a rough run at it you know for the past five weeks five months whatever the situation is i feel like they're 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 finding it a little bit difficult to cope under the pressure under the expectations or just like feeling like they're very much alone in a situation and they they just need like more reinforcement okay so reinforcement here so the the fracture foundation needs to be fixed it needs to be repaired it needs to be reinforced okay so reinforce like verbally uh telling them affirmation telling them the the expressing the appreciation or it needs to be reinforced like physically and structurally so that the foundation doesn't um, fall apart further down the line. So there's something here that I feel needs to be worked at, needs to be looked at, needs to be fixed, needs to be nip in the bud before it exacerbates and become a bigger problem. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here. Um, I feel like career and work is going tremendously well for many of you. I feel like the home environment, the love relationships might be a little bit like um, neglected to differing degrees. Some of you, it might be severely neglected. You might feel like you're, I, I just feel like someone is taking, uh, it feels taken for granted. And then I also feel like there's a situation here. If things are not fixed, okay, if things are not discussed, if things are not talked about, we have here the three of swords, which indicates separation. 
We have here the Three of Cups, which indicates third party interfering in a situation. And I rarely like to mention this or even say it, but when the cards come out like this, I just feel like someone's had it. Someone is just like, I'm not getting my emotional needs met in this situation, so I'm on my way out. Someone might feel like tempted, okay? We do have the Devil here, which deals with temptation. Uh, someone, one might be like, this is a... Um, a commitment that is too much for me. I want to explore greener pastures. I want to see what else is available for me. So I'm going to be on my way out. So I feel like there's a situation here where things are not addressed. Things have been taken for granted. Things have been kind of like um, assumed that it would be this way for all the rest of time. And I feel like someone's got a change of heart and they kind of want out of a situation that is no longer emotionally uh, nurturing or emotionally satisfying or just um, reciprocal. So I, I definitely feel it is time to do some damage control in this situation to avert you know, a crisis down the line, okay? Uh, let me see if there's anything else. There was another message I, I, I thought that came through. You see, so I took down notes because you had a lot of messages and images that came into the picture. Um, I feel as well, there is a, um, we have here the Six of Cups and the Devil, okay? This is kind of like a blast from the past and Mercury Retrograde is notorious for exes coming back into the picture, misconnections to be making an entrance so that we can revisit, okay? And then I also feel like uh, a situation that happens in the past and we couldn't find a solution, this is a really, really good time for problem solving, okay? So it's like revisiting things, revisiting situations, revisiting people, revisiting circumstances that didn't work out the first time and trying to figure out how can we make this work? So it's a, actually a really great time for problem solving. It's a great time, not so much for making decisions, but problem solving, coming into sudden realization of something that we've been racking our brain trying to figure out the solution to. So it's a good time for inventors, for artists, for you know people in the creative field or people who are thinking outside the box to be able to come up with amazing uh, solutions. I'm also feeling as well, with this Six of Cups and this Four of Wands, there is a, um, a person here that you might have attempted to build a relationship with. And I mean, you know, a solid relationship, a home, a marriage, uh, uh, an engagement, a really serious, stable relationship. And for whatever reason, there were like um, interference, situations interfering in this relationship, okay? So we could have like addiction issues. We could have career success interfering in this relationship that otherwise would have been very, very good for the both of you, would have been very, very stable for the both of you. We have the Six of Cups, which is a soulmate connection, and the Four of Wands, which is marriage and stability, two people coming together in a very harmonious way. And I feel like one person was succumbing to the devil which is temptation and it doesn't even have to be third parties it could be you know a multitude of addictions that we have nowadays which is tremendous right like video games um drugs alcohol vices like whatever it is some somebody was like prioritizing these types of addictions rather than the connection and then the other person was prioritizing work and status and prestige and money and you know financial stability rather than the heartfelt connection in this relationship. So I feel like there was a situation here from the past that might have been taken for granted, that might have been overlooked, and it was very important. And now with its absence, this is the breakdown, the, the fracture in that foundation. With, with the absence of it, you start to realize what matters. And I feel for many of you, you're in a phase or in a, a period of time right now in the month of November, trying to work on yourself, trying to recoup, trying to you know put it down out the fires, trying to rebuild. And just make sure that whenever you rebuild, you take all of this into account. A lot of the times people say that, um, Capricorns, 
uh, don't take the emotional needs into account. Okay. And so make sure you take this situation into account. What didn't work? How have the parties felt isolated or emotionally unsatisfied or、um, you know emotionally neglected in this situation? And how can we、uh, uh, avoid making that mistake in the future? Okay, so I feel like there is a, a definitely an opportunity for redemption. There's something that can be built better and greater. Would, while taking into account everything that hasn't worked in the past and trying to rebuild a prototype, a relationship, a situation, so that it doesn't have a wobbly, faulty, shaky, crackly foundation, so that it can, you know, withstand the test of time. And I feel like it definitely requires a lot more effort and more work from your end, but also seeing that emo the the more emotional, the the less tangible. You know, it's not just about what you can see and touch and 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 feel with your hands. It's more about like all the nuances, the undercurrent, and things that needs to be ironed out so that you can build a better foundation. Okay. I'm gonna leave it at that for you, Capricorns. I feel like it is a little bit of a heavy reading, but you guys are the goat. You guys are, you know, you you can climb on crevices of mountains without falling to your death. You have,、um, you you guys are very agile, and whatever a Capricorn builds, you know, it it will withstand the test of time. It will, you know, survive past like the the civilization it was built for. So I feel like you're in a very good position to build something very long lasting and to create like a legacy for yourself. But I also feel like, in a way, there are are、um, so there are big monuments that we build, right? And then there are the the successes, the wins that the the small wins that also needs to be built. And what I'm saying is, just because it's a、uh, it's monumental doesn't make it better than all these little wins and all these little things that you need to get done. And I feel like don't neglect the little things, don't neglect the people, don't neglect the emotional connections,、um, in favor of the big momentous, you know,、uh, things that 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 others will see for for decades, for centuries. I feel like they all have equal weight. And what you're going to start to see for the month of November is that everything, no matter how big or small, they carry the same weight in the greater scheme of things. Okay, so I feel like you're coming to the realization that everything needs to be worked at, all right, and that one does not take precedence over another. I hope the reading is helpful for you. I hope that you're watching this early on, so that when it comes to you in the month of November, you will be able to spot it and you will be able to fix it. All right.、Uh, I will leave it at that, Capricorns. I wish you all the best. And、uh, for those of you who are looking for a reader, I do have a colleague based out of California that I work with.、Um, I, well, I don't work with her. She's her own independent entity, but I highly recommend her. Um, her name is Bridget. She's based out of California. She's a psychic, and she is phenomenal. So I highly recommend you get a reading from her if you haven't already, or if you're interested in reading. In a reading, if you're looking for guidance as we progress through, you know, this murky Mercury retrograde period,、um, the information for her、uh, scheduling website is in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the month of December. Have a wonderful November 2019. Happy Thanksgiving to those who are celebrating, and Happy Halloween to all of you guys.、Uh, take care of yourself, okay? And I'll come back and talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.